guys and welcome back to my channel. So we're going to do a fun kind of video. Um, I saw Holly Eats Lipstick here on YouTube do, uh, she does some like BuzzFeed, like video, um, like survey video kind of things. And I thought it was kind of fun. And, um, so I saw that she did one about what does your makeup say about you? And I thought that was so fun. Um, so I wanted to do it with you guys here. So what does your makeup say about you? And if you want to do this survey, by the way, I'll have it in the description box. I'll leave the link for you. And I'll also leave Holly's video down there as well. So I can't live without my blush, eyeliner, red lipstick, moisturizer, moisturizer, eyeshadow, or glitter lip gloss. I'm going to go with moisturizer because moisturizer is extremely important to me. I don't know if it is for everybody, but it's very important to me. So that's pick a shade of lipstick. There is like a, I don't even know, red with gold in the middle or pink with gold in the middle, uh, Barbie pink, a light blue, a purple, nude, or red. I'm going to go with nude because that's what I just feel like is more like me. Where do you usually apply your makeup? In front of my mirror, wherever, wherever I am when the urge strikes me the bathroom, I have a makeup artist in the car on my way to work or on the subway in front of strangers. I apply it at my vanity, personally, and that's where I apply mine. Where would you go on a date? It looks like we have a drive-in movie theater, karaoke, maybe wine tasting, someone with a microphone, I don't really know what that is, rock climbing or dinner, it's definitely dinner. The doorbell rings and you haven't got your face on yet. You ignore it, apply lipstick, strike a dramatic pose, muss up my hair to match my smeared mascara, what's the problem, or slip a note under the door that says, indisposed. Really, I'd pick what's the problem because if you're not wearing makeup, it's really not that big of a deal. So, your beauty philosophy is, people will stare, make it worth their while, Harry Wh Winson. Heels and red lipstick will put the fear of God into people. Dita Von Tess, I believe in primping at leisure and wearing lipstick. Audrey Hem Hemper, Georgia's hair is best revenge. Ivana Trump, I've always found beauty in I always found beauty in things that are odd and imperfect. Marc Jacobs, and the most liberating thing about beauty is realizing that you are the beholder. I kind of like Marc Jacobs. I always find beauty in things that are odd and imperfect because that's me. There's always like when I see something that's not in the ordinary, I always think it's beautiful for some reason. I guess that's like my artist in me. Pick a prom photo. So there is a girl sitting in a big poofy prom dress. A girl, I don't really know what her prom dress is. Two girls in a leather jacket. A, like it looks like someone from the 70s in a weird blue dress, a girl with a flower headband, and a boy and a girl standing there. I'm going to go with the girl with the big poopy dress all by herself because if I didn't meet my boyfriend, I would have went to prom alone, to be honest. How do you flirt? Drop my handkerchief, wait for them to come to me, pout, say something shocking, write them a poem, or direct eye contact. I honestly, I wait, them, wait for them to come to me. And when someone comes to me before I had my boyfriend, of course I'd flirt right back, but other than that, I don't really flirt, so... Which nail art best represents you? It's a bare hand, a hand with pretty colors or gems, a hand with flowers on it, a hand with dark nail polish with like a coral color and a French manicure. I'm going to go with the coral one mainly because if you guys see my nails like right now they're coral. So what's your color palette? We got like a gray, purple, a white and coral, black and purple, green and gray, pink and blue, and a random color palette. I'm going to go with the colors because that's what I feel like I do a lot. So what did I get? You got artsy. Life is your canvas. You put your own style in everything you do and don't worry about other people's opinions translation you're absolutely fearless honestly I think that's kind of true um, I'm I went to school to be an art teacher so I mean I'm fearless when it comes to almost anything I I want to try new things I want to do new things I'll experiment with things so this was kind of fun honestly 
Um, I'm really surprised that I got, like, that I'm artsy, so. But this was kind of fun. If you guys are looking to do a fun BuzzFeed survey just for fun to see what you might get, this is definitely something you should try. So again, I'll leave the link to BuzzFeed in the description. I'll leave Holly's video as well. So other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, guys. Bye.